Hello friends, welcome back to my another video. My name is Naushad. Today I'm going to talk about the Power Query in Excel, how it is working and how we can make a relationship between two tables and the slices, how we can make a slices very professionally. Power Query is the most powerful tool in Excel. It is a data connection technology. You can connect your data within the file, outside the file and from web as well. Here I'm going to show you as an example the profit and loss account, how we can generate a profit and loss account from trial bias using Power Query method. If you do any changes in input file, which means here I'm going to show you in the input as a trial balance. If you do any changes in the trial balance, automatically it will deflect, reflect to the output sheet. I mean profit and loss account sheet. Let's begin the video. Guys, you can see here the two Excel files. This is our trial balance. This is our profit and loss. This is the input file which we exported from our accounting system. And our all trial balance we're going to input on this file. Okay. Let me open this trial balance. I already opened over here. And uh, see, this is a trial balance. This, there are, you can see here three branches. And here GL code, account name, branch code, and month. The first step is we have to convert this raw data into the table format. Control T. Okay. And put the table name, branch one. Okay, now we convert to the table. Now we're going to export to the query. Now we have to cre uh, create the query connection. Okay, first go to the data and the from table. Okay, this is a query editor screen. Now we're going to make this month this value as a horizontal. That means uh, transform the data. This We're going to select this January to December and transform click here and pivot column see now this is this came like this now file sorry uh -huh. close and load to click here add this data model and connection only load we can do it the same step in all another another two branches Okay, now we create all these three branches trial balance into the table format and we load it to the query connection and we make a query connection. These are the three query connections. Now we have to compare this these three into the one format in one table. That means appending the query that we can call the appending the queries. Right button or right button to the first query, append. Okay, here first you can select the branch one and the second query is a branch two. Okay. Then append again the third branch. Okay. Now you can see here all the table is combined together. All the three table is combined together. Now we can load to New York book add data model. Okay, in the table. You have to click on the table. Load. Now here is loading the final table which we combined all three branches. Okay friends, now we can start working on the output file. You can see here two files. This is a output file and this is our input file. We are going to connect this trial balance input file to the output file using Power Query. 
let me open this and I already open I think okay and this file contain two sheet profit and loss and TB here is I already copied the format in order to save the time and here is contain some formulas this is the basic formula some formulas I think everyone knows about it okay now here this is our input input sheet here we are going to connect our our consolidated TV into here okay first go to data query from file from workbook and we have to locate the file the input file okay this is the one now you can see all the table is contained that file branch 1 branch 2 this is the this table is uh, the, the consolidated one adding this campaign all these three tables and this and this is a sheet and we need this only this is a consolidated sheet, consolidated table only double click on it and it's open the query editor just close and load it to and you have to add the data model and table only you can give the cell where you want to load it or we can put it over here and click on load see now now you can see this table is loaded and it's uh, this is connected to the our input file whatever is changing is doing that file automatically it will detect here